Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to undelete deleted files using nothing more than what Windows actually ships with. This, this stuff is actually included with Windows. So you don't need to download any confusing programs or anything like that. Um, so the first thing we want to look at is, well, we want to open up our command prompt. And there's this command, VSS admin. And we want to list shadows okay this is there are these things called uh, volume shadow copies and it's basically like your restore points in Windows so if you do like let's just say okay these two here if I delete these and empty the recycling bin so they're gone I, it's not like I can just pull them right back again these things are just out of there but I want them back because they're kind of important I can go ahead and I can look at the dates. You can see, let me mark this to make it easier to see here. Here are some dates, 819, 820, even gives a time. So I know I've had these for quite some time. So let's just say, okay, 827. And that was like two days ago. Let's see here. So I wanna copy this and we wanna copy the shadow copy volume. Which is right here. I'm going to copy that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a symbolic link. Okay, link. Actually, let me change the directory first. Okay, make link. Link. If I can spell, C colon. The, okay, you want to do make link forward slash D. That says, okay, I want a symbolic link. And a symbolic link is nothing more than like a shortcut on a desktop. See this right here, this my little Kindle reader? If I deleted this icon, it wouldn't uninstall the program. It wouldn't delete the program. This just points to where the program is on the computer. So if I open file location, we can see it really resides in my program files under Amazon, under Kindle, all the way here. That's just a, a shortcut to it. And this is the same thing, except this is a shortcut for a directory. So this is gonna access something on our hard drive. The first argument you put in is where you want it to be created. So I'm going to say C colon backslash shadow. It's important that this directory does not exist on your local drive already. Otherwise, you're going to get an error. I don't have a shadow directory, so I'm going to put it there. Now, the second argument is going to be what do you want it to link to? And I'm just going to paste in what I copied up here. But one important thing, you want to make sure that you end it with a backslash so it knows it's a directory and not a file name. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So just make sure you add that extra backslash at the end. So I hit enter. Now I see symbolic link created for, and it says, okay, my C colon backslash shadow, and it's linked with the global root, you know, this, this shadow volume copy. So I can close this out. And I can go into my computer and my C drive and there it is there's shadow but look at the folder it has a little shortcut just like on the desktop here so let's click it see what happens well now it looks like I'm back in my C drive again huh so if I want to go to my desktop let's see if that stuff is actually sitting there so let's say Ron and desktop and let's see what was it power of attorney which is important need that one and a Windows PowerShell. That's right. So there we go. Now once we get the files that we need, we can delete the shortcut, which is going to close. It's going to leave um, that symbolic link. It's going to, to cut it for us so we don't have to worry. Crazy things happen if you don't delete that link. If you leave it open, malware can infect the... Well, they can... Malware can infect anything, but... It takes a pretty decent malware writer to do that, but they don't have to be that good if you have an open link. So always delete your link. It's just better that way. But there you go. That's, I mean, just copy and paste right out of there. Um, pretty short, pretty easy, pretty simple. I'll put the, the commands in the comments below. Um, and well, hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post and See you next time.